Um. Jason's characters, okay. I think we just finished these two guys off with Rush. Or not, apparently the one guy is like still gonna stick around. Heal his two points of damage. I need to do get over there okay
Okay, so I know what I need to do now. Back this way. Deal with some spiders. There we go, and I've also loaded up a party member, so that's good. Uh, go back this way. Fights. One of these fights. One of these silly kind of monotonous fights. Unless they like, got an item that I picked up that first and just and saps your uh, attack accuracy. Which I mean, that's entirely possible. That or just RN. R and Jesus is not happy with me right now. Let's just finish mapping over here while I'm while I'm here.
Okay. Try this again. See if my luck goes better this time. There we go. There we go. Got the sneak attack in. Oh, I know how this one works. There we go. And go down the ladder. Okay, leave. They're friendly. And there's the stairs down to B5. Okay. Past the dark, gloomy graveyard was a place with a mystical atmosphere, surrounded by rocks.
roar of the waterfall echoed. Water splashing from somewhere up high above mixed together with the air to create a billowy mist. It made uh, the wind that brushed past your cheek feel refreshing. The place is a scene from our forest which we lost in the flash. The girl up you'd met several times before, before approached. Her sad green eyes were striking. For those of us who lost our home in the flash, this sight is comforting. It seems that this labyrinth shows us what we wanted to see. I know I must, that I must uncover how, why and how this labyrinth has come to be, but my heart sways when I see something like this. The girl smiled. Even if this isn't real, at least this familiar sound of the waterfall. It feels like that fateful day was just a dream. The girl thought longingly about the past for a while. But the smile on her face was gone when she turned to face you again. What is it you are seeking in the labyrinth? The girl's face was stern. Is it wealth? Fame? Or something else? The girl's beautiful green eyes were gazing at you. Honestly, you don't know. Durgan's altruistic and honest attitude gave his good impression to comrades with, good, with a good attribute. Perhaps those words had special meaning to the girl. Her face lit up for a second, and the way she spoke to you became filled with affection. I can only believe that something in your heart is what brought you here. I have learned today that even if everything is lost, and no matter how much time passes, some things are forever. Saying these riddled words, the girl left. Okay, and with that, I'm going for 145. Not as long as last time, but you know what? That's fine. I had an extra long session last time. I can be a little shorter this time. The snow of Duhan, several black shadows rise up. Undead demons who threaten life. I notice a smock haired girl is facing a group of undead alone. If you return to the labyrinth, I will not draw this blade. You have to take the lives of the townspeople. My Kikuchi Monji will stri shall strike you down. The girl put her right foot forward and grabbed the hilt of her sword. The undead attacked her. ducked forward to dodge their attacks and sheathing her katana and slicing through the horde with a single blow. Throw and unleashed her flowing technique. One stroke, the undead were now just clumps of dirt. The girl let out a small sigh. I'm sorry you had to see that. I heard the undead hate towns, but is that just a myth? The undead have been coming out a lot lately. Now three times they've come. I hope it's not a bad omen. I must be going. First, all right. Okay. Why it was to be identified with a dagger.
you. Um, Roxy Bar. Roxy Bar, turn in the quest. Do you find anything out? Rose. How'd it go? Did Giorgio meet with another woman? The other ring Giorgio left. What? What's this? Wait a second. This ring has my name engraved in it. She made a face like she wasn't satisfied with this answer. Then something struck her mind. I see. So that was it. It's almost been a year since we first met. She was hiding this present. She didn't need to hide it from me. Um, degree of self-delusion there, I think. Maybe. Got a help hair ornament. And a bunch of XP. I think the implication here is, um, we're all dead. Rusty armor, warrior, warrior rusty armor lifted his way towards you. Then you swords of cane took a deep breath. I'm ashamed to have you witnessed such a disgraceful sight. I was, I am Gustav Bright. I was a leader of the Imperial Knights. Gustav stopped and began to recollect something. Something you would rather forget. Till now I have walked through countless battlefields, earned victory and fame. Till now I've been confident that I've fulfilled my duty. My feelings about my men and the people's trust in me, they were both unshakable. Till the incident. Gustav began describing what had happened. His words were filled with anger and, and regret and anger directed at himself. At the time of the flash, we were outside of town, the town fighting monsters. They were strong, but we had courage and will. But then the flash shook the earth. I should have given my men orders to retreat. My men glanced my way every once in a while, but even then I did give the order. Did I want to claim credit for victory, or was I overconfident? Either way, I lost my men and our shield. My career has ended, but I should have but I have survived despite my foolish mistake. It is embarrassing, but please find our shield. Such a pathetic thing. This tattered body won't even allow me to remedy my failure. Gustav disappeared into the tavern crowd. And what's the... Um, weapon shop one from Helga? Okay, so to kill. So now that we unlocked B5, I can get the uh, hound's ear. Okay. In, rest up. OK. 
Okay, Durgan has leveled up. As has Creo. Save the game, and we'll call it a day. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.